office at Sully Mays. Sounds like a name to a hit TV show, but it's not. It's your neighborhood corner diner right here in the Fishtown neighborhood in Philadelphia. Feels like you're stepping into a time capsule. Maybe that's on purpose, but either way, the food here is hearty, just like the people. Lots of Philadelphia sports memorabilia, Eagles, Philly fanatics. I mean, the place feels good when you walk in. It is a Sunday morning here at Breakfast Sully Mays, Fishtown, Pennsylvania. And I'm in the mood for some breakfast. Some good old eats here. Uh, this is a biscuit and gravy with insane. a strawberry compote on the side for the biscuit. Wow. And then the chef sent out, um, this is the fish town scrapple, just for you to try. Just okay, to that sounds, that looks amazing. <laughs> Look at this. Presentation to me, it gets you excited. You know, it gets you excited in the morning. Uh, um, the biscuit here, this is a hefty, sturdy biscuit. Oh wow, what's that? Look at the scrapple fries. I've never seen anything like it. Do this here. Scrapple fries, breakfast at Sully Mays. I can say that all day. Is this the comeback sauce? Yes. The comeback yep. sauce. Cheers. Mmm. Mmm. It's like fried hard. I love it. Nice crunch to it. And Michelle gets back in. Tell her go home. That sauce is like, yeah. That's an amazing sauce, man. They call it the comeback sauce. That's an amazing sauce. I can't even tell it's fish. It doesn't taste like traditional scrapple either. <laughs> mm. That's good. <laughs> you know what's great about having fish scrapple? Sometimes I don't want to eat pork, and that's a great alternative. Actually, I'd say this is probably better than pork scrapple. Very good. That comeback sauce is definitely on the comeback. <sighs> Excellent. I don't even know who Sully May. Who is Sully May? Is that the owner? Um, so Sully May's bought two properties about 30 years ago. He's not the owner currently. Okay. They sold it about seven years ago to the new owner. Got gotcha. you. I know there's a Salome's like barbershop, barbershop right? too, right? And they're still in operation. Nice. I'm pretty sure the original owner still owns the barbershop. They What's up? The What's up? I'm gonna save the big boy for last. I'm gonna do the fish scrapple sandwich next. You know, kudos to the cook, cause he made, whoever he or she made my egg perfectly and they topped off with some jalapenos. Y'all know I love my spice, man. Let's cut into this. Look at this. Good Lord. Mm. Look at that. <laughs> Look at that right there. Look at that. Put some of that comeback sauce on there. Have your coming back. I'm gonna put some jalapenos on here too. And we're gonna do it just like that. Fish scrapple. I always ask servers for the history of the place just to see if they know the history. They know the history over here too, all right? Let's go. Mm, mm, mm. Some green tomatoes. Okay. And we got coffee delivery on Thursday, right? sauce is like, it looks like a Big Mac sauce from what they described. It does? Like mayonnaise, mayonnaise, maybe some celery salt in there, maybe some lime juice, but it's really, really lively, or lively type of like comeback sauce. 
like Let's talk about this fish scrapple with this over easy egg. So it looks like they take the fish and they turn it into like this pasty consistency and then they deep fry it with a nice crust. And then you get a nice crunchy texture and it's not fishy at all. It's not a fishy flavor. It's a very, very light flavor with that comeback sauce. Fantastic, y'all see the details of that. That fish scrapple, for anyone get, wanting to get back to the scrapple game, <clears throat> you know, I actually, I didn't eat pork for like 10 years. I wish I would have found out about that fish scrapple. This is the main event right here. Yeah. The main event. Look at that. Biscuits and sausage gravy. And they gave me an extra biscuit too. Appreciate y'all, Sally Mays. Biscuit is nice. Look at that. If y'all go on their Instagram, they always talk about the biscuit. Look at that, it's thick. It's thick. I wanna, I don't wanna, I wanna say something, but I wanna get in trouble with my wife. That's thick. What is it, like a cranberry type of like uh, sauce to put, give it that nice sweetness. That's the uh, biscuit, sausage gravy, over easy eggs. I'm gonna see if I can get y'all to salivate. I don't know, this is, this is enough plate. Oh my goodness. Look at this. <laughs> one biscuit alone can knock you out. All you need is one biscuit. Yeah. Let me get some of this cranberry. Strawberry compost. Strawberry. Some strawberry. See, I told y'all they're very helpful here, man. It's like a party in your mouth. Oh, we about to find out. <laughs> Early in the morning, not even 10 o'clock yet. Here we go. Mmm. Mmm. Sweet and savory is what it's all about when it comes to breakfast, man. Y'all like my y'all like my morning voice? Real sexy, ain't it? I tell you what. That biscuit is the star. Mm -mm -mm. Oh, now I'm gonna mix it up so I can have that sweet and savory breakfast action going on with the biscuits and the over easy egg and the sausage gravy. Look at the home fries though. Look at that. Big, ch big chunks of sausage in that bite right there. Fabulous place, Fish Town. This one tricked me right here. I don't do Fish Town as much, just cause uh, I don't know what it is. This to me is my type of atmosphere. I feel like I'm in South Philly with this type of like, you know, inside interior. I love it, down to earth. I feel like I'm right off abroad. Of yeah? Gotta say hi. What's up, buddy? How's oh, yeah. everything? Oh, delicious, man. Awesome. The, uh, the fish scrap was like, <laughs> never had anything like it. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I'm the only idiot who puts fish inside scrap. Oh, you're not an idiot. You're a, geni <laughs> you're a genius with that one, man. It's sweet, savory, comforting. Like, I don't know how you can actually eat this and, and function after this breakfast. down for the count here. First meal of the day. I got up at six this morning. I was very excited to come here. And they did not disappoint. So this is their biscuit, their 
very popular sturdy this is a sturdy biscuit right here. you eat this right here man you eat this before you go to the eagles game this is the type of biscuit this is right here is like i see that let's try this out i'll put some of that strawberry on there too okay playing some good songs right now shout out to the dj <laughs> I love the diner. I kind of like, I grew up, I grew up in the diner in a way, you know what I mean? Like, that was like our ritual. This is the diner. Like diners to me are kind of like, some of them are like cookie cutters in a way. And they make the same thing as every other diner with a little bit of tweaks. This right here takes the diner and kind of like exceeds it, you know what I mean? Like. Like you don't, you're not gonna find some fish scrapple anywhere. You're not gonna find uh, fish scrapple fries. You know what I'm saying? You're not gonna find these type of biscuits at any diner. Not, 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 not the shit on the diners. I love the diners, but this takes that diner, and turns it up a notch. And I appreciate what they do here at Sully Mays. Excellent. And nobody knows it but me. Hmm. Nobody knows it but me. Mm -mm -mm. I'm gonna go back to this fish scrapple right here. Shout out to the comeback sauce. Big shot. Mmm. Yo, they biscuit and sausage gravy. Them, them sausage got a nice spice to it, man. It's delicious. Overall, fantastic place here. Breakfast is selling maize. Right off of Gerard. I'm gonna wrap up this video. I wanna thank you. Oh, they got Vietnamese iced coffee. Mmm. I'm a Vietnamese, Vietnamese iced coffee kind of sore. I don't want to do that to myself right now. I just had a cup of coffee. Excellent um, aesthetics too, you know what I mean? A lot of Philly sports, go birds. They love the sixes here. My type of spot. And just a down to earth place, man. You know what I mean? Nothing bougie about it. So this is why I'd be afraid to come into Fishtown sometime. You know what I mean? Certain places be bougie. I'm gonna just say it like that. This place here does not give me the bougie vibes. I got a sticker, limited supplies only right now. My breakfast came out to what was it, 24 something. I know they caught me one item, but I wanna I want let y'all know, it's very reasonably priced here. You get a lot of bang for your buck, a lot of food. Like, I would have been satisfied with just the uh, biscuit and sausage gravy. That, that was a lot of food. Uh, but I get greedy from time to time in every video. But nice bang for your buck, great hospitality, nice, non-intimidating type of uh, atmosphere here in Fishtown. <laughs> And uh, yeah, man, the coffee is good. My type of my type of spot. So thank y'all for joining me. Make sure you subscribe. Make sure you shop local again. I'm gonna keep saying that, man. Make sure you come here. Breakfast is selling maize. I'd say one of the best spots here in Fishtown. All right. I will see y'all on the next John. Peace.